But the idea that the world will end in 2012 has been spreading around the internet for a few years. It is now being promoted in the movie 2012, which started playing in theaters on November 13th. I wrote about a few of the ways that the world is supposed to end, but actually doesn't, in my most recent article in the Journal Pioneer. One of the many reasons that the 2012 Doomsday Theory was made up is because of the ancient Mayans' longest-running calendar. This calendar is set to end on December 21st, 2012. The Mayans were an ancient civilization that lived for a few thousand years in what is now Mexico. They were highly advanced for their time and had many great mathematicians and astronomers. They devised many different calendars, the longest of which is a 5,126 year cycle. Many are now fearing the end of the world when this calendar ends, but that's not the way a calendar works. The Mayans don't even mention the concept. Just because our calendar ends on December 31st doesn't mean that the world is going to end. Once the Mayan calendar ends, it starts over again, just like our calendar does. Another explanation for the end of the world on December 21st, 2012 is that the Milky Way Center, the Sun, and the Earth will line up in a row. The extra gravitational force from this lineup are supposed to knock Earth off of its axis and it'll be the end of the world as we know it. What they forget to mention is about this special lineup is that it happens every single year. If you get rid of the bright, bright blue daytime sky for a minute, you will be able to see that the sun is nearly right in front of the Milky Way Center on December 21st, 2012, as it is every year. The extra gravitational force on Earth from this alignment is much less than the gravitational force of a person on the other side of the Earth. If it's not the Earth, Sun, and the galactic center lining up that will cause the doomsday, maybe it will be some other galactic phenomenon. As the solar system orbits the center of the Milky Way, it bobs above and below the disk of the galaxy. It's been proposed that when we pass through the disk of the galaxy, the gravitational disturbances cause tons of comets to get knocked out of their orbits and fly in towards the inner solar system. These comets will then impact the Earth, ending life as we know it. Yet again, a real situation is blown into proportion. The solar system does bob up and down through the Milky Way's disk, but it takes about 50 million years to do so. The solar system will actually take a few millions of years just to pass through the Milky Way's disk. Returning to doomsday caused by our solar system is the idea that there's some giant object called Planet X, or Nibiru. Planet X is the name given to any planet that we think is there, but hasn't been discovered yet. In fact, Pluto was once referred to as Planet X for a short period of time. Conspiracy theorists suggest that NASA is covering up information of a giant brown dwarf that's flying in towards the inner solar system. It may possibly be the dwarf planet Eris. Now here's the problem with this argument. A brown dwarf is a planet-type object, many times bigger than Jupiter while a dwarf planet is a tiny object about Pluto's size or smaller. Pluto and the other object dwarf planets reside out there in the Kuiper Belt. If there is a brown dwarf flying in towards the Earth, at least one of the hundreds of thousands of people in the world with a telescope or even binoculars would have noticed it. Dwarf planet Eris is actually close in size to Pluto which is smaller than Earth's moon. There's Pluto and Eris. It doesn't come any closer than 4 billion miles to the Earth. Which, if Earth was this far from the Sun, Pluto would be all the way out here while Eris would be all the way out here. Thousands of videos on video sharing websites, such as YouTube, 
show a bright object next to the sun, often claimed to be Nibiru. This bright object is simply an internal reflection off of the lenses inside of a camera, not a giant undiscovered planet near the sun. There are many more doomsday theories out there, but all of the arguments for those theories very quickly collapse under any type of skeptical or scientific scrutiny.